Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Just rolled up into the old driveway on this hot rod. This is a Royal Enfield Interceptor Scrambler. It's a Scrambler. It's an Interceptor that's been turned into a Scrambler. The uh, creative minds at uh, Baxter Cycle have uh, done all kinds of neat things to make this thing uh, into a real Scrambler. It's just, and by real, I mean one that you would actually, one that you would actually ride on the dirt. It's got the right tires, probably Scorpions, I think they are. It's got this amazing high pipe. They put this kind of a solo seat that has an add-on to make it into a double seat if you want to be a double seat. You know, knee pads. They put this sticker that's off of an old era. It's a 648cc parallel twin overhead cam. Puts out about 47 to 49 horsepower, something like that. 39 foot-pounds of torque. That's uh, 53 newton meters. But look at all these other things they did to it. These uh, Motone knee pads, Bon Vant seat, you know, I already said that, or with this little rack on the back, by the way, that's part of the seat system. They have a couple of these left in stock. <clears throat> all of this stuff is in stock, or uh, all of this stuff should be available at Baxter Cycle. You know, this uh, tank strap, beautiful tank strap, Motone knee pads, these stickers here for the tank, these grips. This is something I'm fighting with right now. They're, they're new. Usually grips like this, they wear in with uh, your hand stuff, and over time they get sticky. Uh, these are still pretty slick. So with my gloves, they're, they've been a challenge. They put this these wider bars on here and uh, this Royal Enfield headache bar. Looks like it has bar risers. Oh yeah, it does. They put bar risers. I did a, I did a video on this. So if you want more information immediately, get look at that one up. Put the single mirror on this one side. You know, it's a scrambler. It's a, a smaller taillight on the back. Got these little micro or pico turn signals here. I really like it. It's been a lot of, a load of fun to ride. Little shorty fender, rock guard on the headlight here. MK design, I think those are. The boots, I don't know if they come stock with that. I don't think they do. I think they added those boots. But uh, check out that, isn't that just gorgeous? You know, this, these bike have a 55.1 inch wheelbase. That's about uh, 1400 millimeters. Ground clearance in stock form is supposed to be 6.7 inches. I think that's 170 millimeters. And the uh, weight on these bikes, now this is going to be off. This is probably lighter. The weight on these bikes is supposed to be about 470 pounds, so maybe 215 kilograms. That's with a fuel, that's wet weight. But I think this one should be lighter. I mean, they've added some things, but they've taken some things off too. But it's just been a hoot. I put about 60 miles on it tonight already. I've got about 100 and 150 miles maybe planned for tomorrow. Then uh, Monday I've got a big ride planned for that too. So, so far I would say uh, an interesting thing. The ride has been, I don't want to call it brutal or harsh, but it's definitely been stiff. And uh, I've, I've been riding it pretty hard. So, you know, I've deserved that rough ride, I guess. I've been using it like you, you would use a scrambler. I have not been on gravel yet. Tomorrow, my whole point of tomorrow is going to be focused on gravel. We'll do a uh, pavement to get to where we need to, but uh, after that, it's all gonna be gravel. Amazingly, this bike has a center stand still. A lot of times they'll take those off. I'm gonna save a few pounds. Look at those pipes, isn't that just amazing? How amazing. Just beautiful, you know, great work on their part. Oh, I think that's a tech guard on the uh, oil cooler there. I already pointed out the uh, sump guard. Just. I, I like it. I, so far, I'm just in love with it. It makes a very interesting sound. I think it's a very good sound. It's the kind of sound that your neighbors will get sick of. I plan on wearing earplugs tomorrow. I didn't wear them today. <laughs> Even with my full face helmet, it uh, could certainly use earplugs. Isn't that just, it's a very interesting look. I love it. I love it. So they have been, they have built, so the guys at Baxter's have built a whole slew of these interceptors and they've got another one that, uh, that they got another one coming that I really want to show you. I'm really excited about that one. Actually, they got two other ones coming, but anyway. Anyway, they've been on a kick on these things, and I think they just do a great job. I think they just do great work, you know. This one's dirty because, honestly, we've been riding the snot out of it. We've been riding it everywhere, you know. It's, uh, it's gotten a lot of gravel. There's the blinkers, rear blinkers. Or, you know, right, left. So it does have blinkers on it now. I wonder if the back ones work. Let's make sure of that. Yep, that one's on. Yep, so we do have blinkers. That's good to know. Um, wonder if I can check. 
brake light. Yep, there is a brake light. Good, good to know also. <laughs> Maybe I should have checked that before I left the shop, huh? And of course the headlight. Yeah, it's just been a hoot. I've just had a ball in it. I have just had a ball in it. And on that note, catch up with me later, my friends. We're going to do a couple videos on this hot rod. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wahoo!